I'm Gabriella Ramirez. And I'm Anthony Santiago. And, and this, this is Salty Jobs. We're your co-hosts for the video series where we explore real careers that keep the marine industry moving. Today, we're in Daniel Beach, Florida with Just Catamarans, known for their hands-on expertise and full-service approach to the catamaran world. Since 2004, they've been serving the catamaran community from brokerage to powering boats with batteries, inverters, and solar systems. And we're rolling up our sleeves to see how all these power systems work. So Gabriella, you ready to jump into some high voltage work? Let's do it. I'm here with Laurent, the service manager here at Just Catamarans. Now, for our viewers at home who might not know what a catamaran is, can you explain what they are and how they're different from regular vessels? So the biggest difference is like you have two holes. So a two hole configuration gives you more comfort. You're not leaning at 45 degrees, as well as like uh, usually the catamarans have less draft in the water. So you have more shallow and being able to get places. Gotcha, so it sounds like you know a lot about boats. Can you explain to me what sparked your interest and how you got into the business? So uh, I got into this, this business by mistake. <laughs> I was helping out a friend and kind of like it. But I've been with Just Catamarans 15 years now. Started from the bottom. I was doing this with another company two years prior. That's how I am now. It's pretty cool that you didn't know you would like it, but once you jumped in, you kind of stayed with it. So for similar people who want to get started in the business, but they don't know what to do, what kind of degrees or education will they need? With the marine industry, there is a tons to cover. I mean, you can be a diesel mechanic, electrician, plumber, fiberglass technician. I mean, we employ all of them. The thing is, some basics is definitely a must. And after that, I mean, like uh, continuing education, a BYC certification, your limit is where you set the limit. Gotcha. And I know one of those fields that you mentioned was electric, and that's what we'll be working with today. Can you explain what the inverters are that we'll work on and why they're used on vessels? So the big thing with the inverter is mainly like, I mean, you're going to have your DC power, 12, 24, 48 volt, that uh, basically like are going to convert the power into AC power, so you can run your coffee machine, microwaves, even air conditioning in some, to some aspect. Sounds great. Why don't we get started? Let's do this. I went into the yacht's power room to work on the distribution panel, which acts like the control center for directing electricity to different systems on board. To keep the system running safely, I needed to replace one of the fuses inside. Using a ratchet, I loosened and removed the two bolts holding the fuse in place. Then I swapped out the old fuse with the new one, tightened the bolts back down to lock it in place securely. Now with the fuse replaced, the panel is ready to take power smoothly again. After installing the new fuse, I went over to the power management display to make sure everything checked out. The screen showed the yacht's battery bank and its charge level, along with how much power was coming from different sources. It also lists the systems pulling electricity. By confirming all the readings looked stable, I knew the yacht's power system was running smoothly again. I'm here with Tony Miller, lead technician at Just Catamarans. Before we get into the job today, can you share more about your path and how you started working in this industry? Sure, uh, being born and raised here in South Florida, it's one of the biggest industries to be involved with. So as a young child with my father, working on yachts, installing batteries on yachts, designing battery banks for yachts and learning the DC side of things is how I originally got started. And here we are today. When working on projects like this, what skills, qualities, certifications do you think will really help someone shine in this role? Well, for sure, that would be common sense. Number one, you have to have common sense in the industry. Um, the ABYC is a very important certification to have, which is the American Boat Yacht Council certificate. Um, having that will definitely help you exceed in this industry. And as you'll see today, as we go forward on this install, that the solar power and the DC system is a very large system on this yacht. And we're bringing DC and AC power together in one to power the boat. Perfect. So today we're installing solar panels. Correct. What impact do solar systems have on catamarans overall power setup? Gotcha. Well, the solar will be used to charge the batteries, which in the batteries can power the inverters, which will power the entire boat. So it's very important to have a good charging system for your battery bank to keep them charged as much as possible. Perfect. All right, Tony, I guess it's time to get to work. Let's go put some panels in place. Let's do it. This frame for the solar panels is no small job. It weighs about 650 pounds, so I had help from the Just Catamarans crew to get it on board. I waited up top while the team carefully hoisted it onto the yacht. Once in place, it was my turn to get to work. 
I started bolting the frame down, keeping the drill and bolts straight so everything locked in securely. With the frame solid, we moved on to the wiring. These cables will connect the solar panels to the yacht's battery system. To make things easier for the crew later, I gathered the wires for each panel and taped them together. Now with everything prepped, this frame is ready to bring in some solar power. So Gabriella. So Anthony. Natural. <laughs> We're here in Dania Beach, Florida with Just Catamarans. Known for their hands-on expertise and full serve. Yeah. Before we get into the job today, what, oh shoot, I messed up. Ha, <laughs> that was a blooper. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm ready. Hi, I'm Captain Sandy and you're watching Salty Jobs. And if you like what you see, hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss an episode of the incredible jobs that keep the marine industry moving.